Good morning, Dubai Airport, 4 a.m. I'm in trouble today. I'm actually going to the U.S. to continue my PPL. Very quiet at Doha. From the time of COVID, we have changed the concept here. This place is too good. There's insane amount of food. You know what this is? Chinese food. Yeah, Gong Hei Fa Choi. This place is really empty. I think there's probably less than 100 passengers on it. Qatar Airways is quite a special airline. The management are extremely demanding. How often do you fly now during COVID? I think many people think I'm short in the video. I don't think I'm that short, right? This is amazing. Looking reverse, looking the engine, beautiful view. The reality is, the stronger carrier, when they emerge out of COVID, they will become stronger. 30, 20, return. I'm traveling to the US, but at the check-in, I forgot to fill in the US CDC declaration form. So the Qatar Airways, Omran here, escorting me to the office to print out that form. Document is a uh, passenger disclosure and attestation to the USA. I feel a bit like a zombie, but I'm also excited. Today, I'm flying on Qatar Airways out of Dubai. Yeah, I know, it's been a while. Hi, Good morning. Hi, everyone, board. Mr. Hey, it's a pleasure having you on board. We all are your fans. Oh, really? Yes. It's been yeah, a long time. I watch a lot, and we have a Moise who is watch everything. Bahrain, you open, we know everything. Welcome on board. Watch Very kind. Again. Thank Welcome you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Mohammed Abdullah. I'm a captain on 787, and with me, first officer Abilash. Hi. Welcome on board. Hello, uh, we'll be uh, going together to Hamad International Airport in Doha, that's Qatar Airways hub. And the flight time today will be 45 minutes and we'll be cruising at 26,000 feet. So Sam, uh, I heard you're going to the US, how long are you going there for? I'm actually going to the US to continue my PPL, because oh, wow. I did my solo and I left. I took off back to Dubai for a couple months, it's been too long before I remember how to fly the plane so I have to go back continue before we depart just want to thank you for the ground stop at Qatar Airways um, it hasn't been easy they set up the station just a couple weeks ago started the flight to Dubai and these actually guys are from Oman Pleasure. they come in Pleasure. to Dubai to help out so I want to thank you for really giving nice your best service during the around. difficult challenge of COVID and hope to see right. you soon Business is full and too bad I have a seat without the window, but it's only a short flight, I can do with it. What's your name? Mohammed. Sephullah. Mohammed. Yeah. You watching my YouTube? Yes, bro. Yeah. What's your favorite airplane? Um, Emirates flight. You know the new um, economy premium one. Oh, the my my video, the premium economy on Emirates. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're flying the wrong airline now. Yeah, because they banned it from UK to Manchester. Right. You're going to UK, of course. Yes. All right, but enjoy the Qatar Airways. This is the way travel should be. I'm reclining my seats, put my feet up, just have a bit of a relaxing moment on the short flight. This is so funny, the captain say we're starting to descend, but now they're going to serve a meal. That will be your platter for the day. How was the platter for the day? Did you like it? Was it up to your standard? Very good, very good. Thumbs up.
see you. Bye bye. Thank you. It's 5.40 in the morning. Very quiet at Doha, the terminal. It's a beautiful terminal. One of the best in the Middle East. Very, very quiet. It's going through the transit and hopefully have a quick glimpse at a lounge, see what they're offering right now. Good morning, welcome to Al Murjan Lounge. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, let me explain you our buffet concept here. Yeah? From the time of COVID, we have changed the concept here. You can see we have a flexi-glass placed in front of the buffet. Before, yes. the chef uh, never used to assist the customer in these cases. Now, you can see chefs are assisting. Customer cannot do self-service from their side. For everything, any food to be offered to the customer is assisted by the chefs. There's a glass here. Oh, yeah, glass. Oh, they get a bread behind from this little hole yes, here. Exactly. This is full oh, madamas. Bow, bow. Some bar. Yeah, basically in Indian dish. Puma, chenna, omelets, and potato. Potato, fried rice, and sausages. This place is too good. There's insane amount of food. You know, this is incredible. You still have the Krug champagne like before? You still have, what kind of champagne do you have now? This is what we are offering at the moment in Al Murjan Dining, Lauren Perrier, Rose One. Wow, you're Lauren Perrier. Yeah. Rose. Today is Chinese New Year. I can't be beaten by this lounge. They've got so much cool little red lantern and all these nice things in here. This is what I brought when I traveled today and Gong Hei Fa Choi. So I wish everyone a happy Lunar New Year, happy Chinese New Year. This is the year of Ox. When I travel, I use Surfshark VPN. There are many great advantages of using Surfshark VPN, such as bypass internet censorship, founding cheaper air tickets, and also encrypt and secure my data. Internet censorship is a huge pain in many growing countries. Facebook, Instagram, Google, Gmail is blocked. I couldn't access to connect with my family, friends, and followers. With Surfshark VPN, I can simply with a click to connect to another country to bypass the internet censorship. And even better, I can access to most Netflix library with just one subscription. With the help of Surfshark VPN, there are also good possibility of founding cheaper travel, cheaper air tickets, cheaper hotel, and cheaper rental car. As a frequent traveler, I often use public Wi-Fi, such as in the airport lounge here or at the hotel. When I want to send sensitive credentials such as banking info, I use Surfshark VPN to encrypt and secure my data. And here's the best deal for my viewer. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.com slash Sam. Enter promo code Sam. You will get 83% off and three additional months for free. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. I just love this feature chandelier and this little tranquil pool here. You got this water popped up a little bit here and there. And then when you listen to these droplets, very, very relaxing. I remember this lounge well. It's good to see. Everywhere is open. This is the quiet area. Uh, we offer this service uh, for the customer who has a long transit. Uh, this is our shower facilities offered to our premium customers. You can see the amenities we offer in the shower facilities. Got a really short time in the lounge. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Present see you. Time. Take care. Bye. Looks like we have a remote gate boarding, so I'm taking the bus to the plane. This is the challenge when you pull the carry-on, walking on a set of stairs, if you have a lot of bags like me. Hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. yeah. <laughs> Can I help you with the bag? Yeah, sure, thank you very much. Let me help. Oh, thank you, you're so kind. It's quite Want heavy. Yeah. No, it's okay. Got it. Yeah, Welcome thank you. Forward. You know what this is? Chinese New Year. Yeah, Kong Hei Fa Choi. Happy, Happy, <laughs> Happy New Year, huh? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So sweet. Yeah. Very nice. My name is Riza and I'll be one of the crew for today's flight. May I offer you our uh, signature fresh lemon mint. We also have our fresh orange juice. We have laban, we have water, we have champagne. Yeah, lemon and mint sounds good. May I uh, transfer your blanket? Transfer my blanket? Mm -hmm. So you have more space in yeah, the coffee sure. table. I will put it in your automatic. Oh, put here. Mm -hmm. And your Briggs Amenity Kit with the Stella Montemiliano skincare products. I will transfer it here in your... Uh, okay, for take off. Yeah. So we have more space and this is your protective kit from Qatar Airways with the mask, gloves and sanitizer. 
My name is uh, Captain Jamal Al Harbi from Qatar. Nice to meet you. And with me in the flight deck. Hi, uh, good day. My name is Karim. I'm the first officer of this flight. The flight time is 15 hours and 5 minutes. And we shall be cruising at a maximum altitude of 41,000 feet. We'll be uh, flying on the North Pole today and uh, 085 degrees, expecting around 2 hours over the North Pole today. Expecting smooth flight all the way, and uh, we hope you enjoy the flight with us. Thank you. All right, we'll be ready to close the door. L2, stand by. I'll let you know when to close the door. All right, thank you. That's it. <laughs> well, introduce the crew. Who are they today in the business class? Just Starting with us is going to be Patch from Thailand, and we have Victoria from Ukraine. 15 hours to Los Angeles. Very long flight, literally a whole day flight. Sitting in a Q suite here, lots of cubicles feeling like, uh, actually feeling quite enclosed in the bubble here with the panels and walls. This flight is really empty. I think there's probably less than 100 passengers on it. All the suites in the middle are empty. the biggest size you have large large I'll take large it's great to see business class having pajamas full suit um, but the large size I ordered was just too large for me I think a medium will fit me so don't over order on the sizes go easy hey Sam hey this is the best seat in economy class I can tell as you can see my legs there you go. stretch out this way and I can stretch out this way my name's Carl and where'd you fly from I came in from Kathmandu, headed to the U.S. to Phoenix for a meeting, and I fly back next Saturday back to Kathmandu. How's your experience on Qatar Airways been? Fantastic. It's uh, truly yeah. one of my favorite airlines. It and, is. Uh, it is. The service is phenomenal. The people are just so friendly. They did a lot of rescue flights out of Kathmandu. Yes, they, they did. were the airline during the COVID. Out. They got you out. Wow. They got me out. Yeah. They wow. Got me out. That's a great story. Fantastic airline. Yeah. There's just so many empty seats in this flight, it's insane! Hi, welcome to Qatar Airways Economy. My name is Maxime. I'm from Chile and Australia. I'm the cabin senior. And these lovely ladies with me are working today. Can Where are you guys yourself? from? Hi, my name is Gary from Philippines. Hi, my name is Yuri. I'm from Japan. Justine from the Philippines. Hi, someone from Egypt. Hello, Maria from Ukraine. Hello, I'm Koshi from India. So we're about to start our brunch service. Well, during the pandemic, we've pretty much kept the service same as before. We have uh, tea, coffee, hot beverages, juices, and uh, the tray with the yogurt and the uh, raspberry compote, fruit, warm piece of infused butter bread, and we have three choices. So this one is the palaf rice with the parsley and chicken chasseur. The spinach tofu burji with the croquette and the scrambled eggs. It must be really hard on you guys because I read articles yesterday in newspaper. For you guys, literally after landing, you go to hotel for quarantine. So you're not going for fun anymore. You're going just on duty and for one night layover and you have jet lag and fly back. And this is very tough flight to uh, US. Well, we're very committed to the, the job that we have. We're grateful. We know the hot industry has been very impacted and it's taught us to be resilient. It's taught us to be committed. It's taught us to um, be creative 
and uh, to just take it day by day. And I think a lot of us, if any of the ladies could add anything, are, we're doing well. How often do you fly now during COVID? Um, well, in the beginning of the pandemic, I didn't fly much, but now we have things getting back to normal. So I have regular flight. I fly like how I used to fly regularly. Really? COVID, yes. It's the same for me now. Qatar is quite a special airline because the management are extremely demanding. The crew they recruited are very different background. They came from humble background. I used to be a big flyer in Qatar Airways. I knew the airline a lot until the blockade. And Maxine here just told me her story. Can you just tell me on the camera again? So when I applied to Qatar Airways, I was in my early 30s. I was at 31. And a lot of people were telling me, no, you're too old to be a cabin crew. Forget about it, it's not gonna happen. And Qatar Airways took me, gave me the opportunity, welcomed me, didn't discriminate me because of my age. And here I am for another nine years. So I'm very grateful for that. And sometimes the customer are really demanding on Qatar Airways because they get pampered. They get treated so well. And sometimes they even get abused by customer. Um, but you can see that the service on Qatar is very different and very customer oriented. Yeah. Do you like Qatar Airways? Yes. Yeah. Anything you want to say in front of the camera? Subscribe. Subscribe you? To you. Oh. <laughs> Here. So basically I watched the video surviving the economy flight uh -huh. before coming to this. So I know what to do. Yeah, and then he thought I was short in the video. I think many people think I'm short in the video. I don't think I'm that short, right? Oh, you're tall as well, lady. Come on. You're just as tall as me, this kid. This kid's growing fast. So Excited? My, yeah, my son and my daughter. That's late. That's your son? Yeah. And wow. My, and my daughter and my, my youngest son. Your daughter's beautiful. Beautiful Thank daughter. You Love it. You. Really? Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, have some good rest. It's a long flight. Yeah, yeah take care. Thank Your you. son's great. Thank you very yeah. much. As you can see, there are so many empty seats. First of all, February is a low travel season traditionally. And also California has introduced quarantine. So the travel numbers dropped drastically. And now this is the end result when the regulation change. And when they eased up, I'm sure the travel will bounce back quickly. Time to take the mask off to eat. Okay, so they come with the bread with sealed in the plastic, there's cover on it. This is amazing. Looking reverse, looking the engine, beautiful view by enjoying the dining here in private. suites to themselves because all the seats in the middle are empty um, yeah I don't have a partner not sure why they set up an extra bed just for a couple of nice picture but really the privacy is amazing Talk about food, really, really good. 
is beyond business class. Lobster tail, sea bass, chicken mapus. I ate so much on this flight. So we're about to come to end for the 15 hour ultra long haul flight. During the whole flight, I've been observing, see what's changed since the pandemic on Qatar Airways. And honestly, there's not much has changed. I feel Qatar Airways is very lavish, very luxury. Everybody has flown the Q suites brave about it. There's no question about it. One of the best business class products. At the same time, I felt that um, Qatar Airways has a bit of an edge because they're actually state-owned airline. So they have access to state funding and they've been flying everywhere during the pandemic. The reality is, the stronger carrier, when they emerge out of COVID, they will become stronger.